Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 14 and it reads the great day of the Lord is near it is near and hastening greatly even the voice of the day of the Lord the mighty man shall cry there bitterly that day is a day of wrath a day of trouble and distress a day of wasteness and desolation a day of darkness and gloominess a day of clouds and thick darkness first and foremost only give all praise and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakhapadash next double honors to the head of apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the bible peace blessings and safety to all your sincere items keep pushing keep moving keep the faith regardless of people here forbear Israel desiring the day of the Lord did, did you not hear, did you just not hear what the day of the Lord consists of, man? Darkness, gloom, and it's wrath. You see? Fearful sights. Just, just straight up scary. We, we're supposed to be discerning the times. We're supposed to met we're supposed to be measuring down the time diligently, as it says in um second Ezra the nineteenth, the ninth chapter. And then going right back to St. Matthew, the 16th chapter, we're supposed to be discerning the times. You can tell when it's going to rain. You can tell when it's going to snow. You can tell when it's going to be sunny outside. But you can't discern the signs of the time. Look, look, look. The Lord said, when you see all these things come to pass, look, just know that the day of the Lord is nearer than what we believe. Let's get this again. That's why the scripture said, woe to them to call evil good and good evil. Look, look, woe to them. They call evil good and good evil because the day of the Lord is going to catch you off guard. Let's get it again. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 14. The great day of the Lord, the Hawa Bashim Yahushai, who they call God and Jesus Christ is near. It is near. How, how do we know it's near? By the signs, by the prophecies. You see, all the prophecies that are happening are letting us know that the great day of the Lord is near. It's nearer than what we believe, right? Matter of fact, let's get some of it. Let's get some of it. St. Matthew 24. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation a kingdom against kingdom and there should be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places all of these are the beginning of sorrows these are some of the signs these are some of the tall tale signs that the heavenly father through his only begotten son lord yahweh told us to look out for all these signs are taking place as i read this scripture everything is happening now man the day of the Lord is going to be full of death. And let's get it again. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 14. The great day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashimel Shah is near. It is near. And look, the Lord just gave us some of the clues. I just read some of the clues. In St. Matthew the 24th chapter, some of the clues. Earthquakes, wars, death upon death. The love of many waxing cold. Look, hate everywhere. Not love, war everywhere gun sales at an all-time high just look at what's going on in the earth and you can tell that the day of the lord is near right it says um and it look it hastening greatly it's coming fast even the voice of the day of the lord the mighty man shall cry their ability the military men they look they're gonna cry bitterly men that actually went to war hand-to-hand -hand combat you 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 name it they're gonna cry there bitterly. They're gonna cry there bitterly, man. Are you, are you not hearing what the scriptures are saying? That day is a day of wrath. That's why the Lord, look, this grace period ain't nothing to be playing around with. It says the day of the Lord is a day of wrath, man. Not love, but wrath is real. This is a day of trouble and distress. These people are gonna be stressed the hell out, having anxiety attacks and all that. Men, women, and children. Just, just stress the hell out, right? This is a, a day of waiting, wasteness, 
and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and, and thick darkness, man. Because simultaneously when the Lord pop up in the scene, on the scene rather, with the chariots, what they equally call UFOs, shooting laser beams, simultaneously the ICBM missiles, the intercontinental blessed missiles are going to be hitting this place. Blocking out the sun, you you gonna see that mushroom cloud. If you see that mushroom cloud, and you're on ground zero, you dead. You dead. But before all these things come to pass, the Lord is taking the murph out of this place. The storehouses are being found empty. I mean, the Lord is taking this place down systematically, man. The Lord said, when you see all these things, that, that, that's why it's like, it's like, our people still ain't got no spirit of discernment to know what the hell is going on. Once, once again, you, you know when it's going to snow, you know when it's going to rain, but, but you can't tell that we're living in deadly serious time. Look, like, well, I want to get this too. I want to get this Romans. This is Romans chapter 13 verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now, not later, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Cause, cause look, and how do we know that? Once again, the signs, the prophecies. The prophecies are letting us know that the end is nearer than what we believe. The end of what? The end of Sleazy E's age. The end of Esau Edom's age, man. Rem remember, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it. The follow. Look, look, Israel, you, you forgot that already? You forgot that, but the but the majority of our people they're gonna um, experience death by pain. Since, since you don't want to take heed to the word, then you must experience death by pain. Look, the Proverbs twenty two and three says, "A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself." Let's get that right quick. It said, "Look, the scripture says the end is nearer than what we believe. It's high time to wake out of sleep." But our people like the hell with it. Let's get this though. Proverbs, Proverbs twenty two and three. A prudent man, a wise man, foreseeth the evil, meaning these bad times, and hide of himself, hide of himself where? Within his word, within his scriptures, right? The comforter, right? It says, um, the prudent man, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself. But the simple, two thirds, pass on and are punished. And are punished. Not taking heed to this word, not getting your act together, not getting yourself right. You get caught up in the wrath and the judgments of your how about shimmy I was shy. Let's get this second Timmy. I'm, I'm just rolling the spirit. Just something quick through the spirit of how about shimmy I was shy. Just something quick, right quick. Look, re remember Israel, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we, per we persuade men. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come, dangerous, hazardous. Uncertain times. These are the times that we're living in. They're uncertain. You don't know if you're going to have some food on your table tomorrow. You don't know if all hell will break loose tomorrow or hell or hell even tonight. You don't know. But the Lord said, look, perilous times, man, deadly serious, hazardous, dangerous, uncertain times. Uh, look, 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 it's in this time. It says in the last days. We're in the last days of the last days. That's why it ain't no need to be playing around. It ain't look, no need to be playing around. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Now, how do you measure time? By what's going on. Link up the prophecies. Look, link up what's going on with the words of Yahweh Bashim al That's how you know what time you're living in, right? He says, um, that, Let's read it again. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I told thee before, we read some of them in St. Matthew, the 24th chapter, wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, diverse places, famines, you know, nation against nation. You know, everything that you see going on there is part of the sign, right? This is, then, sh then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And we read how the Lord is going to visit this place and how would that day consist of darkness, gloominess, death, stress, anxiety. You see, thick darkness, right? This is, um, 
wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, are, are we not seeing it? This is part of the signs and uproars of the people in the world. You look up that, that word uh, for the definition of uproar, it goes up pretty much on a whole lot of protests. People are angry, people are fed up, people are being tired of, of being lied to. You see? Then thou, then thou, then shalt thou well understand that the most I speak of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The word manifest means to make known, to make clear. So the Lord is making it clear that we're at the end of Sleazy East Age. And this is the time to get our acts together, man. This is the time to get it together, Israel. Let's get this Malachi. I got, this, this is my last one. This is my last one. I'm going to wrap it up after this. But this, this is time. It's time, Israel. Malachi. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. This is what the day of the Lord is going into. This place being cooked to a crisp, right? It says, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubborn. That's why the Lord says it's high time to awake out of sleep. For salvation is nearer than what we believe. You're going to have salvation, you have destruction at the same time, right? It says, yea, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubborn. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But Israel still, Israel want to play around with a day like that. It, Israel, you, you really want to play around like that? Uh, look, look, are, are you serious? Uh, are, are you serious, Israel? You want to play around with the Lord? Really? This, this ain't a day to be playing around with. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens, meaning this rulership, sneeze ease rulership, shall pass away with a great noise when the missiles hit, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And you ain't got to believe it. You ain't got to believe it, Israel. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. I just read that in Malachi, the fourth chapter, right? Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, and the Lord just told you how you're going to come back. You seeing all these things shall be dissolved, seeing and knowing that this place, Babylon, the land of confusion, aka America, is about to be destroyed. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? How should you be conducting yourself, knowing that this place is gonna burn soon? Come. You should be rehearsing the righteous acts. All of us should be rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our ability, especially knowing that this place is going to cook soon, come right? Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashanel Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. Meaning this rulership, this rulership, this kingdom, you see? Sleazy ease rulership is going to melt away, it's going to burn. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, the whole elect, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. We can't wait till this place burn. Look at that word new, it goes into the Greek word kainos, which means refresh, right? Th those missiles are gonna take out all the, that heat. It's gonna take out, it's gonna rid the earth of its toxins and its pollutions, man. It's gonna clear everything. Because a fire is a cleansing agent, you see? It says, um, Look, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And that's what we're looking forward to, a righteous kingdom. Not this wicked one, man. So so, so get, get ready because the day of the Lord hastening, it hastening, it's coming quick, Israel. Look, 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 we ain't even got that much long. The, the way things are popping off, the day of the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night, Israel. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent. That ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. Because look, you don't want to you don't want to be on the Lord's bad side when he comes. You want the Lord to show you peace, show you mercy when he comes, right? That's why the scriptures say, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. You see? Woe unto them that desire the dead Lord, but what, what shall it what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel, man? And Lord willing to be elect was edified, man. Look, man. It's, 
a day of anxiety, a day of fucking darkness, a day of gloominess, a day of wrath, man. That's what's coming. You have been warned. Shalom.